Hey Scorpios and welcome to my channel. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. I'm here doing your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Scorpio reading for the first couple weeks of December. Um, I just do apologize for the delay. Uh, the first card out will be the overall uh, theme of your reading. Then I will pull cards after that and a advice card at the end. So your overall energy that you're dealing with is codependency. So addictions are affecting your romantic life. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be addictions. It could be, uh, you know, codependent behaviors on a person, on, you know, alcohol, substance, whatever it is. Um, something that you're addicted to or someone is affecting your love life. So the bottom of your deck of that um, deck too was religious factors. So um, your love life is um, being affected by your spiritual path as well. So you guys are just on different um, planes of your healing. And uh, whoa, let's get started. All right, this card came out twice while I was shuffling before your reading too. The Page of Cups in reverse is your first card out with the Empress in reverse as your second card and the Four of Cups in the reverse. So very emotionally drained, um, sad that something didn't get off the ground that you were hoping for. The person you're dealing with, they have the Ace of Pentacles as their first card out. Who is Scorpio dealing with? What is the energy? What do they need to know? Thank you. The next card out is the Ten of Wands. And their last card. Thank you. Oh, they got two. Is the Page of Pentacles and the Hermit in Reverse. Um, I'll get one more for you guys to even out the energy. And you got the Queen of Pentacles. Bottom of your deck is Magician. So you have the tools that it takes for you to manifest whatever it is you want. You're being called to go within, go deep, get to the source of the problem, and then use the tools that you have learned along this path to begin to bring into your life what it is that you want. You can't be holding back on your emotions. You have to fully invest in somebody if you want them to fully invest in you. Um, but you will come forward a better person, more grounded, more uh, family-oriented. Um, once you see the devils on the one side, once you release this toxic energy that you got going on, your love life will ascend to a more solid, balanced, happy level. Um, with the Page of Cups, you're waiting to hear from somebody, but you're not. Um, you're feeling drained by this um, emotional connection. You feel uh, like everybody else is getting what you want, is what I'm seeing. I have the Page of Cups here for Scorpio. The Emperor in Reverse. Yeah, you're just, you're kind of all over the place, Scorpio. Either this is you or the person you're dealing with. The energies can be vice versa. But this is not a good energy. Um, you are out of balance. You are uh, de demeaning somebody. You're, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You're controlling. You're trying to control the situation too much. And it's just really draining your energy. Um, it's time to let go of whatever has a hold of you. Whether that's uh, alcohol, drugs, food, a person, whatever it is. Because... Uh, a new beginning or a new creation is not going to be plausible for you until you let go of whatever it is that's tying and binding you and heal from that. Um, this could be somebody else that you're dealing with as well, and you need to heal from the hurt of their codependent behaviors. Like I said, this can be vice versa, so I don't need a bunch of comments like, I'm not addicted to anything. Nobody's saying you are, but somebody in your life is and it is affecting your love life directly so you have the four of cups as well you're you have been ignoring what's right in front of you for far too long and it's time to make take some action to cut out whatever it is that is not meant for you what is not uh not doing you justice and um and allow that one cup that the universe is trying to give you to come in allow that blessing allow that gift because for um, far too long you haven't been seeing what's right in front of you 
you have the Queen of Pentacles as your last energy with the Nine of Cups. Um, you're worn out. You're tired. You're taking care of everybody. Um, you are the one who has to nurture everybody, take care of everybody, make sure the laundry's done, make sure the food's made. Um, and you're just exhausted. Uh, you could be indulging in something that is not of a benefit to you, or you are exhausted because somebody in your energy is, um, indulging in something that is not good for them. The person you are dealing with, they have a new beginning on the, on the horizon. They have stability coming to them that is based by family love. Um, this is having family support. This is a new beginning after breaking free from this energy. So for a lot of you, you're dealing with loved ones who do have addictions. They are promised this new beginning from source. If, but they need to continue to have your support. They need to continue to know that they're loved, that they, um, have, you have their back in a time of need. Um, before they'll let this addiction go, before they'll let this codependent behavior um, go. But they're going to. They're going to put down the weight of this uh, addiction that, is, that they're dealing with, with these thoughts. Um, codependency can be a thought process. Um, negative thoughts overtaking your life. It's anything in excess. Um, yeah. This addiction is winning. It's, it's not fighting fair to them. Um, they need to pick up and just walk away. Um, you or them, whoever it is that's dealing with this issue. And then somebody can offer them um, something tangible. They're going to get a message. They're going to hear from somebody that's going to give them a little bit of hope that, that they can beat this, that they can walk away from whatever this is or whoever this is. Yeah, because it's stealing their energy. They're not able to replenish themselves, replenish their soul because... Um, because they're feeding their energy into the wrong thing. They are going to go within. They are going to begin to heal. They are going to see the inner light of beauty and um, continue to walk down that spiritual path. So have faith in this person, or if this is you, have faith in yourself. Ace of Pentacles twice. See, there is, there is a, the sun's coming up after, after the dark, you know, the, it's always darkest before dawn. It's what they say. They're going through a hard time right now. Um, they're getting over the loss of something. Uh, they're having a hard and difficult time seeing their life outside of whatever this is that they are dealing with. And I know this isn't going to apply to everybody. And I hope to God it doesn't apply to you. Um, I hope this doesn't resonate because um, the things that this person is dealing with is are real. Are, and it's sad and it's um, depleting their energy quickly but as long as they have family support as long as they have the love from you or if this is you just know that your family does love and support you and they are going to help get you to this place of happiness again um to to don't don't fight dirty just let the burden go let it put it down walk away from it um you're gonna you're gonna receive some hope um very soon and it's going to allow you to replenish your energy and once you go within, you find that light and realize that there's more to life than this. The universe is going to bless you with many new beginnings, many new blessings, and somebody coming into your life that um, that is going to walk this journey with you. Now, if this is not you, Scorpio, and you are the top row, you're drained by this person. This person tries to control everything. They're, um, they're, they can be mean. Um, they're just out of balance. And... and you're going to have to walk away. See, the emperor and the empress came out right next to each other. This is somebody you're married to or in a committed relationship with. You're going to have to not turn your back, but you're going to have to take time to turn away long enough to heal from the hurt that this relationship has caused. Don't turn your back on them. Turn your back on the situation and allow yourself to heal from the pain because this person has put you through a lot. Um... This is, there is a lesson in all this. The universe is trying to show you your lesson, um, give you your lesson. But until you take a stern approach to this problem, until you tell them it's now or never, it's time to stop, or it's time to leave that person or whatever it is, um, the lesson then will be learned. But most of all, you're just super tired because you're nurturing and taking care of everybody. Um, 
it, because of this addiction or because of this overindulgence, if this is you, be cautious of overindulging because you are exhausted. But like I said, I hope this doesn't apply to a lot of you, but unfortunately um, it is. But if it doesn't apply to you, um, try to catch me next time. Don't try to make it fit because for this group of you, you know this person has this addiction or it is you that has this addiction. So if you're like, hmm, I don't know if they're a closet drinker, it's not for you. You know this uh, addiction is here and it's very prominent in the relationship. So resting tree is the bottom of your deck. Be patient, be still, and listen to... Uh, to the guidance of the universe. The card that came out is the spiral dancer, a circular screw um, perception. So the issue at hand is all in how you perceive it. Uh, if you look for the positives um, and what can come from this and not focus so much on um, the negatives of what is going on, you can help this person um, reach the goal. They, they can, they can, uh, fight the battle and win it if um, you approach it in a positive, um, non judgmental uh, way. So um, just make sure that you're trying to keep a positive uh, spin on this. Don't let your negative thoughts get the best of you because we all have a different spiritual path that we're on. We all have things and hurdles we have to get over. We all have issues that we have to battle and demons that we have to beat. So approach this with, um, with a positive, um, perception because you're going to get to that goal line. You're going to get to the destination. There just is a couple of detours in your path. And, and even though you feel like you're going in circles and nothing is happening, you are moving closer and closer to the finish line. And in the end, there's going to be this waiting for you both. So, all right. I want to thank you guys for joining me on my channel. As always, I send you love, light, and, and much, much healing.